Welcome back to the Pen and Ink Well. Third time lucky I tried to get this uh, short intro filmed with a couple of in um, interruptions to say the least. So this is, I'm going to be looking at a Japanese pen today. This is the Pilot Custom 74. This is a pen I've been looking at for a long time. I first noticed this in Brian Goulet's videos where he uses a blue one, one of his everyday carry pens, his go-to pens and sort of lost it after it since then. I was very, very fortunate to be loaned one of these pens to have a try it by a colleague of mine, Ian Headley, who writes a blog, Pens, Paper, Pencils, which is very worth you going over and having a look at. Um, this pen is expensive here in the UK, which is what stopped me from ordering one. So I am very lucky to have had the opportunity to try it. And even though it's not a nib that I would use um, out of choice, it's not what I would have ordered, I am still extremely grateful for the opportunity and very fortunate to have been able to try one. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. So this is it. This is the actual clear demonstrator version of it. It comes in blue. It also comes in orange. I've seen it in a smoke colour as well. I think I've seen it in like a sort of lilac colour, violet, lavender colour as well on Amazon. But say so this is the clear demonstrator version of this pen. I'm going to have a look at it in closer detail, let you know what I think about it. And then I'll do a quick writing sample right at the end and um, say please leave some comments for me below. And I'll speak to you very shortly. Bye. Welcome back. So I'm looking at the Pilot Custom 74. As I said, it's a pen I've lusted over for quite some time. I've wanted to look at and I was very grateful and am very grateful to Ian Headley for giving me the opportunity to borrow it and have a look at it and test it out and see if it's everything that I hoped and thought it would be. So I'm going to get a little bit closer so we can have a look at this in detail. So this is the clear version of it. As I said in the introduction, it also comes in orange, it comes in a blue and it comes in smoke. I've also seen it in a sort of lavender type colour. Not very easy to find over here or not for sort of sale on general sale over here but you can get them on Amazon and I, you can order them from the US as well in those colours. But if you're ordering from the US over here be aware of the customs charges that you'll pay to get them through. So this is, as I say, this is the clear demonstrator model. So you can see everything through this. So measurements wise let's get that out of the way. It's, it's a fairly lightweight pen actually before we go on to the measurements. This is 23 grams in weight with the cap on. It's 14 grams without the cap. Measurements, it's 142 millimeters long. It's 125 millimeters without the cap on from the nib to the, to the end here. And then it's 160 millimeters if you choose to post it. I very rarely post my pens except for pens that are designed to be clearly posted. So we'll have a look and see what we think. So you can see right the way through this, even the orange and the blue and the smoke and the lavender, they are still, um, you can still see, excuse the ink on my pens, it's been a busy pen, on my finger, sorry, not my pens, it's been a very busy pen day and, well, those of you that love fountain pens know that it comes with the territory. So if we have a look, so it has the smoke at the end here and that matches at the tip here as well. So sort of, you know, a, a smoke sort of clear, but smoke sort of co coloured parts there. You can see the converter through here and the ink. And then if you can see just around the middle here, there's a band that says Pilot Made in Japan Custom 74, which is quite nice. The clip, quite understated, it has this ball on the end here and it has Pilot written down the front here. It's a very good clip as you can see, very workable, very serviceable. So let's open this up and have a look in closer detail. So as we have a look at it, the grip section has the same colour as the end, this sort of smoke colour to it. And let's have a look at that nib. It's a beautiful looking nib. I like a decorative nib. So this is a gold nib. This is a 14 karat gold nib and this is a broad. 
wouldn't be my choice generally but this is what was loaned to me and you take whatever you can get it has beautiful design around the edges here right the way through it has pilot 14 carat written on there and it has broad written on there as well and the feeder system through there so let's have a look at the filler system in here so this is a con 70 push button converter not going to operate it because I'm going to end up with ink everywhere so this you put simply you push the button it feeds up the ink from the bottle through the pen here it also you can use the IC50 or the 100 cartridges from Pilot as well in this pen so what have been my thoughts on it right I suppose I have to start by saying this pen here retails in the UK for 184 pounds 99 pence it is a gold nib and I'll do a writing sample shortly um, and I have to say hands down it is the smoothest nib I have ever used it's also the wettest nib I have ever used now that is either going to be a huge plus for you or it's going to be something that may be sort of a little bit of an annoyance for me it is the latter I'm afraid I not a huge fan of wet nibs I tend to write a lot I haven't got the time for the ink to dry my handwriting is fairly small I like the way my handwriting looks with a fine you know or an extra fine nib so the nib for me doesn't work that saying it is available with a fine nib so I could just get a fine nib and I would be interested in trying a fine nib because I think then that would give me some perspective as to whether weight and balance wise I find it to be perfect it's a nice size pen the width to hold it is very nice the barrel is a good width and it's a nice length and it's very, it's lightweight it holds effortlessly in your hand your hand wouldn't tire with the weight and it isn't too narrow that it would become awkward and it said this grip section sorry is long enough for your well for my nails and everybody has nails like mine to not get in the way so I would be interested in trying a fine nib would I be interested at the price point that it is no I wouldn't pay the money that is being asked for this in the UK you can get it in the US for far cheaper and you can get it from Japan directly from retailers on Amazon for cheaper and that I may be tempted to do um, whether I would choose to try and try a fine nib first to see whether I'd like one but I'm looking out for a blue one with a fine nib and if I come across one I may be sort of very tempted to pull the trigger and get one because it is a very well balanced pen and I like that about it it's straightforward it I can see why it would become a workhorse pen that you would be very comfortable in writing with so I am going to carry on I'm going to do a writing sample now for you and then I'll show you how this writes with a broad nib because if you do like wet broad nibs this is perfect so come and see me in so a let's second let's look at a writing sample then so this is the Pilot custom 74 and this has a broad nib look at that into folks I would absolutely love to tell you what the ink is in here but I can't I'm really sorry I don't know what it is I know it's by diamine I'm not sure it was the pen came to me already filled um, Ian if you're watching this if you want to drop me a line and let me know and I can add it to the comments below um, into the description box so you'll know what this is but say but this is um, I know it's a diamond ink I'm just not sure which one it is so this is as I said this is a wet nib 
see what I mean? Um, but it is also absolutely buttery smooth. And I would have to say the smoothest nib for me personally. Let me see if I can get in there closer and you can see quite how wet this ink still is. See, if you were writing with this pen, it would take some time for this ink to dry and you would have to leave it a little while. You wouldn't be able to be turning pages sort of very quickly. This is Roger paper. It is a standard paper that I use and I like using, but it, it is a very wet nib. As far as, there's no line variation. I wouldn't expect it to have any line variation. This ink, whatever it is, does give some really nice shading actually, as you can see there. So it's a nice ink, so I'd be interested to know what it is actually. Um, as I say, there's nothing more I can sort of say. It's a broad nib, but let's remember it is a it's a Japanese broad nib, which I would say would equate probably more towards a Western medium, probably slightly larger, broader than a Western medium, but not as broad as a a Western broad nib, for example, though you know a German broad nib possibly. Um, there is nothing sort of you know nothing more I want to really add on this pen. I like the pen design. I like its weight. I love the nib. I'd like to try it in a fine nib. I like the filler system. It holds a lot of ink. Um, I don't like the price of it here in the UK. But if you've got any comments, please leave them below. Any requests or any videos you'd like me to look at, you know, in the future, then please, you know, I'll do my best to get hold of the pens if I haven't got them. And um, other than that, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.